Well, what I rule out is that we're not going to get involved in sending combat troops to uh, Mali. That, that isn't the role we're going to play. We're supporting the French with logistic support, C-17 planes, and we'll be giving them other assistance as well. We're also likely to take part in a training mission, so there'll be British trainers helping, for instance, Nigerian troops and other troops uh, from the West African countries that will help provide security in Mali. But we're not looking at combat troops, no. Not looking at combat troops, no. Did you just hear that? David Cameron said he would not send troops to Mali. Now, let's take a look at some of the action in Mali. Islamist insurgents have grabbed more territory in Mali and are moving closer to the African nation's capital. Last week, French President Francois Hollande deployed some 550 troops to Mali, and he has authorized airstrikes in the northern and central parts of the country. Olan held a meeting with his closest advisors in Paris on Monday to discuss the security situation. The French defense minister says despite some setbacks in the fight, the situation is working out in the way the French president expected and it's evolving favorably. People living in this village say the French intervention has been reassuring. Mali's military is in disarray and has let many towns fall since the insurgency started almost one year ago. Since taking over the country's northern region, rebels have imposed a form of Islam much stricter than what the people of Mali had practiced. Thieves have their hands and feet cut off in public. Women are flogged for things like wearing perfume and eyeshadow. France is now urging African nations to get involved and send troops to fight the extremists. Meanwhile, Britain has authorized sending several transport planes to help France bring in more troops. And the U.S. is sending drones as well as communication and logistical support. Tim McGuire, the Associated Press. Al-Qaeda has a new refuge, the deserts of northern Mali. They drove out the National Army and seized their weapons. Now they fly the Al-Qaeda flag. They control an area twice the size of Britain, including cities and airports, and they're threatening Europe. When we've conquered France, we'll come to the USA. We'll come to London and conquer the whole world. The banner of Mohammed, peace be upon his head, will be raised from where the sun rises to where it sets. The military commander of Al-Qaeda's local ally, Ansar Dean, defenders of the faith. 